Hello everyone, good day to you. Today, in my this tutorial, I will use this Instagram post square to my this 3D, yes, this one. Custom 3D effect. So let's check it out how to make it. So first of all, once you open this, you just this blank page for example blank page so you need come to elements and then select the logo so logo you can choose like a facebook logo okay you can choose one of them you just see in this color they have a white and blue so white and blue you just need to um change the blue color becoming yellow and this color white white and this also be consider a uh, green blue green blue then all you change becoming yellow as well is look like this situation this condition so once you have this if like me is a canva free version user just come into the file, click download and download this page number two. Number two, then click done. Now we want to remove the yellow color area. Okay, so if you are the free version, uh, if you are a free version user like me, just follow my step. It's easy. If you are camera pro user, I think no any issue at all. So I will use Pixel E, and then this one is a free. <clears throat> free online editor you just come in here open image just now your image just upload over here <clears throat> sorry about that coming unlock if you want to know more about this uh how to use this all the tooth tooth uh <clears throat> item you can go in to see my tutorial is pixel tutorial okay so now i just come in the toolbar here when select when select then I just choose, I select to maybe about 15. Then mode, I change to add to selection. I just click this one. So now I just click yellow area, a yellow area, yellow area, and this one as well. Once I finish this selection, I just press the button delete. Then he will help me to delete like this okay so now i just click outside so now coming to far export as png okay okay now i'm back to this canva so now what i want to do is upload the photo upload the remove breakout photo like this just upload it so now i have this one now i need the breakout color so i can make look like this how to make look like this actually actually this one i already rock, locked up this uh overlay overlay picture now i just unlock okay now i just delete this one first so actually i just use um, some elements elements so this element is oops, sorry about that this element is rose goes rectangle okay this one is gradient so you just use some the breakdown color you want so for example this one is a pink glitter so you just choose those picture or the photo you want then you just put on the area after that you just overlay this photo so this name is called gold circle okay so once you already position those item if you find this color is not your expected you can come to edit and then you can come to co to adjust the brightness contrast saturation and if you want to adjust another thin blur or so on but now i just adjust about brightness contrast and saturation as well so how about this gold circle gold circle i also adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation as well. This gradient, 
I also adjust it. Okay, following the color is more um, brightness or more interest, interest, interested. Okay, so now I just click this one to put overlay the photo. Just come into the corner, scroll up to this position. Everything is look like okay. Just come in here to lock it. After lock it, okay. So what I want to do is download this page number three and then remove the white color area. So now I'm coming here. Far download page number number not number two is page number three. Click click download. So now I zoom out bit so once finish okay finish so now what I want to do is remove the white color area white color area means I will use same this platform uh, this tool is, is called pixel and then come to open a new image new image just click it upload so now this is look like so same when select mode is add to selection shift total run is 15 so now i just click white area so once you see white area they have over then some place will remove that that means the white color is more similar so now what i want to do is undo uh, i just click outside here adjust the total run to becoming um 10 for example so I just click one more time. Okay, this is I think is what I look like. Press the button delete. See one time. Okay, it's good. So now I just click about white color. White color. I want to remove. Okay, then press the button delete. So this is what I, I want. So now everything is okay. Done. Come to the file. Expose as PNG. Okay, now we're back to the Canva. Okay, back to Canva. This new blank page. We have to upload my design. Okay, this is my design. This one is transparency breakdown. So now I just adjust or scroll up this size. Don't forget this. Uh, I think this one should be no big issue, but I will adjust a little bit. So now have a two way, have a two mantle or two way to make it shadow or three D um, three D effect. So first you just come to edit, edit with shadow. So you can edit drop shadow as well. Click one more time. You can adjust this transparency becoming one hundred, blur five. But this area or this shadow just only allow you to change with different the uh, color was provided okay provided for example i just use this one okay we look like this once you're happy okay then i why will be look like this okay never mind i will undo first and then maybe i adjust a little bit more uh, no adjust i adjust the size look like this then i edit one more time and then we see one more time what we will come out okay now transparency i just do 100 everything okay just click apply okay it will look like this but i want to do is different is with the same color so i scroll up scroll up and then i adjust a little bit okay now this time i will duplicate duplicate with edit and edit the color now this time my color will be adjust a little bit more darker maybe go to 40 contra okay maybe about 10 saturation maybe also about 10 okay if everything okay i just right click send to the back okay this is look like 3d then if you thinking want to adjust a little bit a little bit just press the button maybe like 
think is you also can press the button or the arrow in your keyboard after you look the the effect like this just right click send this first page picture becoming below okay so now this is look like 3d custom logo effect so i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a like and subscribe my channel see you in the next video soon bye bye